Hello everyone. Welcome to this introductory module in the course strategy and introduction to game theory, right? So let us start this course by first defining what a game is. Of course, all of you have played many games since you were a child. So all of you intuitively have an understanding of what a game is. Let us try to define it more rigorously and characterize what are the different components of the games that we are going to talk about, right? So the course is strategy and introduction to game theory in which we are going to talk about the theory of these games. And to understand the theory, therefore, we have to first start by understanding what a game is, right? What are the different components of a game? Of course, all of you are familiar that to play a game inherently and intuitively involves some form of a competition. It is a competitive activity, right? So a game fundamentally by its very nature is a competitive activity. There is a notion of a comp there is a notion of a competition. There is a notion of a strategy, right? And of course, another important aspect of a game is that whenever you want to play a game, you look for a partner. You look for, as a child, you might have looked for someone to play the game with or a sibling, right? So a game, inherently, the notion of a game is a game involves multiple players, two or more players, multiple players or multiple, or to concretize this notion, multiple agents. So a game inherently also involves multiple players, multiple parties or multiple or also known in the context of game theory as agents. So game is a competitive activity. It involves multiple players or agents. And of course, while playing your game, you're looking to win the game. When you're looking to win the game, you're looking to maximize either your points, maximize either your goals or so on. So you're trying to maximize your profit or you're trying to maximize what you derive from the game or your utility from the game. And the aim of a game is to maximize the profit or more generally speaking, maximize your utility, right? And also finally, everyone knows that each game has to be played according to a set of rules. So it's therefore, a game is characterized by fundamentally by a set of rules. So these are the different components of game. A game is a competitive activity. It involves competition, strategy, of course, a game is played by multiple players, right? It's a game between multiple players or agents. Each agent is looking to maximize his own profit or utility, and fundamentally, the game has to be constrained by a set of rules. It has to be played according to a set of rules, right? So a game can be defined, therefore, if I have to fundamentally define a game, or more rigorously define a game, a game can be defined as is a competitive activity in which multiple agents contest to maximize their profit or multiple agents contest or compete to maximize their profit according to a set of rules right it has to be played according to a according to a fixed set of rules or according to a According to. So a game is a competition, it's a competitive activity between multiple players or in which multiple players compete to maximize their profit or utility according to a set of rules. What we want to do next is we want to characterize, we want to, now we have an abstract definition of a game. Now we want to see, look at a couple of real life scenarios and try to see how they fit 
into our definition of a game or in other words we want we want to look at some of the real life scenarios and better understand how they can be modeled as games right so let us start with a basic real life scenario in which there is a market we are all familiar with a market scenario by a market i mean various firms or various companies various goods which are available to the consumer so who are the players in a market scenario naturally the players or the competing agents in a market scenario are the different companies or the different firms so the different firms which are producing the different goods right this might be soft drinks this might be soaps or whatever so these different firms are competing and these are competing how are they competing they are competing by using a strategy and the strategy can be as diverse as setting prices adjusting the quantity increasing or decreasing the quantity right and there what is their aim the aim is therefore at the end of the day to maximize their profit everyone is maximizing their utility and what is the utility in this context the utility can simply be the profit or might be they might be trying to maximize the market share trying to bring, build a brand loyalty so they can also be trying to maximize their they can also be trying to maximize their market share and what are the rules in this context there are several rules for instance there are strict rules on the kinds of goods that can be sold in a market more importantly there is a rule that these different companies cannot collude to fix artificially fix the prices that is an important rule this is known as the anti collusion anti collusion law so there are rules with respect to colluding there are rules with respect to quality the kind of goods that can be sold all right so this is a market game which is gone by its own set of rules in which the different players are the firms which are setting prices adjusting the quantities of the goods towards maximizing the profit or maximizing or possibly also maximizing their market share right let's look at a slightly different game how about a political scenario politics we all hear the term the games the politicians play right so politics this is another important game politics who are the different agents the different agents can be either different political parties or the different politicians who are contesting the elections or so we can say the contestants of an election right and what are the different strategies they have different campaigning strategies they compete in terms of their campaign strategy which a campaign which either to the right or to the left or towards the center right and what are they seeking they are seeking to maximize their utility which means basically maximize their vote share or win an election and thereby earning probably fame responsible a position of responsibility and power and also every election has to be played or every election has to be conducted according to a set of rules for instance there are rules on campaign spending limits right so there are rules on spending limits there cannot be campaigning on certain days for instance campaigning is not allowed on the election day right so they are governed by spending limits campaign laws so this is an interesting set of examples we looked at a market example where the different agents are the different firms trying to sell goods to a consumer we have a political scenario where the agents are politicians who are trying to campaign towards maximizing their vote share and win an election and of course each election has to be conducted or the politics themselves have to be conducted under the am ambit of a certain set of rules under a certain framework right let us take a totally different example which is also becoming very popular these days for instance let's take a wireless communication scenario mobile communications is become becoming extremely popular or has become extremely popular in the last decade so if you took if we lay, take example of a wireless communication scenario 
Then the different competing agents are the different people who own these mobile devices. So the people, the different competing agents are the people or basically the devices themselves are automatically can be programmed to compete for the resources. What are the resources or what is, what is everyone trying to, what is the strategy, what is everyone trying to maximize? The bandwidth or the spectrum or the number of channels available to these devices are limited. So everyone is trying to maximize their bandwidth or the spectrum that is available to the device so that they can transmit over the radio, the common radio channel. After all, after all the radio channel is common to all these devices. So everyone is trying to maximize the spectrum or bandwidth allocation, right? The strategy they use or, or the aim is to maximize to gain access to transmit over the radio spectrum and ultimately so that you can transmit either messages or voice or multimedia content such as video, pictures, etc. And there are several rules according to which this game has been played. For instance, not everyone can be allowed access to the spectrum, only a set of, set of registered devices, a set of registered devices with a cellular operator can be allowed to access the spectrum. Also there are rules on the kind of interference, for instance a device cannot cause more than a certain level of interference to other devices who are probably transmitting on the spectrum. So there are rules concerning registered devices, there are rules concerning interference. So this is an interesting example of a game, a game that can be formulated between these different wireless communication, this game that can be programmed between these different wireless devices so that they compete for the chance to transmit over the radio spectrum, of course, according to a certain set, a certain set of rules, right. Another totally different example, yet another totally different example can be in the context of an auction, of course, an auction scenario, an auction let me just write this a little clearly. Auction, of course an auction is something that is used to clear or sell items which are very precious. For instance, these can be items such as either art or antiques and other precious items which are in the public domain for instance, which belong to a people of a certain country for instance, spectrum. or mining resources such as coal blocks, rights to mine a particular mineral. These belong to the people, so these have to be auctioned to the highest bidder. So who are the competing agents in this game? The competing agents are the different bidders, the different bidders who are bidding for the rights for either these mining rights or the bidders who are bidding for either these pieces of art or the spectrum. So these are the competing agents. The agents are the competing players are the bidders who are strategizing through their bids to try to win or try to win the rights to these different objects or these different resources and so on. And uh, what are they looking? What is, what are they looking? They are trying to maximize their utility. Maximize their profit. They are trying to gain the object or trying to gain, for instance, the spectrum. But on, not only are they trying to gain the spectrum, they are trying to gain these objects at a reasonable price. Their aim is to gain these, the rights to these resources at a reasonable price in order to maximize the net profit that they can make out of these. So the aim is ultimately not only to gain the object, but to gain them at a reasonable price so that you can in turn maximize the net profit or what you can derive from gaining these resources. So the aim is also to maximize the profit while gaining access to these resources. And of course, what are the rules? There are different set of, there are different set of rules that one has to follow in an auction, right? Of course, the auction is conducted by an auctioneer and everyone is allowed to speak for instance, in a normal art, art auction, everyone is allowed to speak, person is allowed to speak only when auctioneer cues that a person is allowed to speak, right? And there is a certain minimum bid value, right? For instance, uh, the bid cannot be lower than a certain value and the bid has to be 
sequentially increasing in value. Also, there are guarantees. That is, if the bid is accepted, then the buyer indeed has to purchase the object. So, there are purchase guarantees. There are bank guarantees. with which people are allowed to encounter auction, all right. And the auction is conducted by an auctioneer who enforces these different set of rules. So, an auction which is basically can be formulated as an interesting game which is employed frequently to sell art, antique, spectrum and coal box and many other things for which it is which are either in the public domain or for which it is difficult to determine the price and the different agents are the players are the multiple bidders who are trying to bid for these different objects. They are trying to maximize what is the utility they are trying to derive from this game. They are trying to maximize the profit by gaining access to these resources at a reasonable price and of course, there is a set of rules which is enforced by the auctioneer or the auctioning company or the agency that is conducting this auction. So, we have looked at a couple of examples of a game. We have looked at markets, which is a game between different firms. We have looked at politics, which is a game different between different politicians or political parties. We have looked at wireless communication scenario, which can be modeled as a game between these different mobile devices or devices which can transmit over the radio channel. And we have also looked at an auction scenario, which is a game between different bidders who are trying to gain access or who are trying to gain control or trying to win these different objects be it art, antique and so on. Therefore, to summarize a game, again let us summarize this set of idea. A game is a competitive activity. At the end of the day, a game is a competition. There is no charity. Right? It is a competition where different agents or different players and the other thing that it involves is it involves multiple agents or multiple players, right? They give multiple agents or multiple players, right? And also the aim of these multiple agents or multiple players is to maximize their profit or maximize their utility and a game is played fundamentally according to a set of rules. That is a game is played in the ambit of a certain set of rules. It is played in a framework that has to be constrained by a set of certain set of rules which allows a certain set of possible strategies, a set of possible actions for each player. All right. So, these are the different aspects of a game. This basically completes our definition, a formal definition of a game and sort of several examples of where this notion of a game that we have defined can be used to model real life scenarios. And from the next module, we are going to look at, we are going to start developing the rudiments of game theory so that we can first build models for these sort of games and trying to extract meaningful results and they will thereby develop intuition about the kind of strategy and about the kind of results or of the kind of behavior that one can expect to see in such games. Thank you. Thank you very much.